Hey everybody, Patton here, welcome back. So the Game Boy Advance often doesn't get taken seriously as a gaming system, mostly due to it being a handheld and a lot of the games that were released on it being geared towards kids. But there are a ton of games on the system that are worth playing, especially on your classic systems on a big TV. So today we're going to look at how to play Game Boy Advance games on the NES and SNES Classic. First thing you have to do is hack your system. I will have a tutorial video in my description to show you how to do that. Once that's done, you're going to open up HackGCE. You're going to go to the Modules tab, then to the KMFD Mod Hub. You want the KMFD RetroArch tab, and you're going to download the newest version of RetroArch Extreme. Just hit the Download Module button down here. Then you're going to go to the KMFD Cores tab. You're going to go down to the Game Boy Advance section, and there's two emulators that work the best. You have MGBA and GPSP. If you're going to use GPSP, you will need a BIOS file. I'll also have my installing BIOS files video in the description as well. So once again, you're going to pick whichever emulator you want to use, and then click Download Module. You can close the Mod Hub, go back to the Modules tab, and install extra modules. You're going to put a check mark next to whatever emulator you chose, as well as RetroArch if you haven't installed that already. Then you're going to go down here, click the OK button. A bar is going to appear on your screen, and once it's filled in all the way, it means that these cores are installed and ready to be used. Now to add your games to the system, you're going to go down here to the Add More Games button. You're going to navigate to whatever folder you keep your games in. We're going to take a look at three games today, Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Metroid Zero Mission. So I'm going to highlight all three of these, then click Open. And our games have been added to Hatchy. You can see that the default command line is set to MGBA. So if you're using GPSP, remember you have to change that. I'm going to highlight all three games, right click, go down to Select Emulation Core. Put a check mark next to the Show All option, highlight your games again, and you'll see it fills in with the Game Boy Advance system as well as the MGBA Core. We want to click on GPSP, click Apply, and then close. So now if we check all three games, you see the command line has been changed. I'm going to grab some box art real quick, then we'll continue. Okay, everything looks good. Now we have to move these games onto our system. If you're going to transfer these games from your PC directly to your system, hit the Synchronize button down here, or if you're going to move them to a flash drive, use the Export Games button. And that's it. We're going to head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. All right, we're going to start off with Metroid Zero Mission. All right, it looks like the game loaded up fine. One of the main issues that people have with Game Boy Advance games is the sound. Sometimes it pops, and I found that more often that happens with the MGBA emulator than GPSP. GPSP seems to have a little bit better compatibility. But the trade-off with using GPSP is I don't think save states are available. You have to use in-game saves. For somebody like me, that's not an issue because I don't use save states, but if that's something that you're really into, you may want to try MGBA. You just might have to deal with that sound issue. Let's see how Zero Mission plays. Looks really good and it sounds great. We get our first item, that is the Morph Ball. So if you didn't know, this is a remake of the very first Metroid. So if you've always wanted to play that game but you found it too hard either because you know you didn't have a map system or for whatever reason, this is a really good alternative. This is an excellent port of the game. For instance, right here, this wasn't in the original. So it looks like Zero Mission is playing perfectly. I don't hear any sound skipping and I don't see any kind of graphical issues. Let's move on to Mario Kart Super Circuit. If you're not Luigi, then you're doing it wrong. Excuse me, Mario. My time to shine. I can see Luigi getting angry at everybody else throughout the series. You know, he hasn't been in a lot of games on his own. But the game looks great and it plays great. Oh, we got more shells. Wow, Luigi is a maniac. But just like Zero Mission, I don't hear any sound stuttering. I don't see any gameplay issues, no graphical problems. It seems to play perfect. And just to reiterate that, suspend points do not work with this core. And of course I can't have a tutorial unless I'm playing a Castlevania game. Here's Aria of Sorrow. Alright, so we are Soma cruising this one. Just a couple zombies to get out of our way. No problem. Oh, maybe there is a problem. We have special attacks too, like throwing spears and whatever other souls that we collect. I don't know why I'm letting them hit me so bad. Revenge Spear. See, we collected a bat soul. Now we can attack using supersonic waves. Let's use those supersonic waves. There we go. We killed the tiny devil. We have an unguarded pendant. Oh, it is... It's a pendant. Ooh, we got the Gravekeeper we can backdash. That's cool. Let's try it. All right, into the water. Oh, an axe armor, hello. And we got a leather plate. I'm sure that's useful. Ooh, a blue door. Now see, I don't remember having so much life at the beginning of the game. Is this good? Oh, that wasn't good for me. Time to move. I guess I could have backdashed. Yes, we did just get that. Oh, we got him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Got the creaking skull, supports a battle from behind. 
Oh. So there you go. Game Boy Advance games run great on the NES and SNES Classic. Just remember, if you're using the GPSP cord, you have to add that BIOS file. So as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.